Today I'm going to share a book with you that's really important to me and it's called I Can Play It Safe. I'm going to post a link in the description box below the video of where you can buy it on Amazon. It's not a graphic book. It's a book written for parents or caregivers to read to their children and it's about preventing child abuse. So I want to do a review of a book that's really important to me. It's called I Can Play It Safe and it was written by Allison Fay, illustrated by Laura Logan. It's a book I get for the children in my family whenever there's a holiday or a birthday and I give it to them, well, to their families for their parents to read to them if their parents are okay with that. And so it teaches kids about how to be, teaches kids and adults about how to be safe in a sometimes frightening world. So you've seen a lot of the headlines in the news. And interestingly, in one instance, when I got this for one of my nephews, before I got the book, he had asked his mom about some of the headlines in the news. He was said, what happened to those girls, those gymnasts in the Olympics? I think something bad happened to them. And so, you know, when I was growing up, we only knew about stranger danger, which isn't enough. You know, it's a start. Don't get into cars with strangers. But usually when something bad happens to someone, it is someone they know. So it is someone the child knows, somebody they trust. So this book is really awesome. And I've gotten it for many people I know who have kids. And it talks, it, you know, there's notes for parents and caregivers. It's like, how do you talk about personal safety with your children? Where do we start? And so they have tips like always check in with a caregiver for permission before going anywhere with someone. Listen to your gut and instincts. Know that your body is your own and some parts are private. And it, I think it's important to give people an age appropriate vocabulary so that they know how to speak up if something bad is happening. So, for example, it talks about how detectives are good at being quiet, but I know sometimes it's important to speak up. I can be quiet about a surprise, like what someone is getting for a birthday, but I know the difference between a secret and a surprise. If anyone, even someone I know, asks me to keep a secret from my parents or the person taking care of me, I talk to a grown up I trust right away. And it's got these great illustrations. Just like a captain takes care of the boat, I take care of my body. I know that my private areas, the parts covered by my swimsuit are my own. If anyone touches me in a way that makes me feel bad or confused, I talk to an adult I trust. I know it isn't my fault if someone tricks me into a confusing or harmful touch. So. I think it's fantastic. I've given it to people who said that, uh, people I love who said they read it to their children. Yeah, a lot of people, we, we want to keep the children in our lives safe, but we, we may not necessarily know how to in an increasingly complicated world. And, you know, I know there are grown ups in my life who love me and want the best for me. They help me learn and try new things. If I am sad, they cheer me up. It goes on if I'm lonely, if I'm scared, if anyone tries to hurt me, I can talk right away to one of the grown-ups I trust. And that's how I want all the children in my family to feel. It provides personal safety tips. So uh, when a child is abused or abducted, the offender is likely someone they know. So teaching kids about a stranger danger is not enough. In fact, there might be a time when a stranger, oh, a child needs a stranger to ask for help. A good choice to ask is a mom with children. It talks about the check-in rule. You know, perhaps our greatest safety defense is the gut instinct or the uh-oh feeling we have. Teach your kids to be wary of anyone who asks them to keep, to, uh, to keep a secret from their parents or guardians. Help kids feel comfortable. Help kids feel comfortable talking about confusing or harmful touch experiences. As children learn about their bodies and the names for all the parts, they also learn who is or is not allowed to touch them. And so it, it's just got a lot of useful stuff here. And uh, for those of you who don't know, what is the Jacob Wetterling Foundation? So Patty Wetterling, who's the co-founder of the Jacob Wetterling Resource Center said, this is a brilliant book that affirms children and takes away fear in a sometimes frightening world. So 
1989, uh, Jacob Wetterling is a famous missing case. He's a little boy who went missing and his parents f formed the Jacob Wetterling Resource Center and they've done a lot to change the world, both to help find missing children, but also to educate society on situations of child sexual abuse or child abuse, or it is somebody that the child knows, it is somebody that the family knows. So uh, yeah, it's by Alison Faye, it's called I Can Play It Safe, and I'm gonna post a link below to where you can get it on Amazon. It's from Free Spirit Publishing, and uh, I've just bought, I know I, I shared this with one fellow debate coach of mine, and she got like seven books for all of her, uh, the grandchildren in her family and her granddaughter. So she got for her nieces and nephews to read to their kids. And um, yeah, so I'm, I, I want to do a book review. Um, this is my review of I Can Play It Safe. Thanks for listening. This is Jessica. If you found this video helpful, please click the like button, share it, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks, bye. You can find a link to buy the book on Amazon in the description box below the video.